Hey guys, this is your Punjabi chef Pratik Dhawan, the hottest chef on internet. And today I'm going to do a tikka recipe, which is a monsoon special. I'm doing kasundi fish tikka. So let's start cooking. To begin with, first I'm going to add ginger garlic paste, some salt, and to give a good smoky flavor to the dish, I'm going to add in a little bit of mustard oil. Now let's massage the fish nicely. We are done marinating the fish on the first stage. I'm going to set it aside for 30 minutes. By that time, we'll start off with the second stage. For second stage of marination, first I'm going to take some hunkar in a bowl. With that, I'm going to take some mustard. We're using kasundi mustard for this recipe. And after adding mustard, I'm going to add the seasoning. First, I'm going to add cumin powder. And next, I'm going to add yellow chilli powder, turmeric, little bit of ajwain, some chaat masala. And after adding all the seasoning, I'm going to add some lemon juice to it because it pairs perfectly with the fish and also add good flavor to the fish. And next, I'm going to add some chickpea flour. Some chopped coriander and a little bit of salt. Now we'll gently mix the marination with the use of whisk. And we are done with the second stage of the marination. You can see the consistency. This is the consistency which is required for kasundi fish. Keep in mind. And pour all the marination on the fish. And now we'll gently apply the marination on the fish. And we are done applying the marination on the fish. It's time to start grilling them. For grilling, first I'm going to switch on the gas. Add some mustard oil. I want to give you one more information about the fish. If you're using the fish directly once you're done marinating, then only use curd or else use malt vinegar while making this marination. And once your oil starts to heat up, I'm going to add the fish and I will fry it for at least five to six minutes on both sides. I'll transfer this fish to a plate. We are done plating the dish. Now we we'll start garnishing it. First, I'm going to add some chaat masala. Sprinkle some lemon juice on top. And finally garnishing it with some fresh coriander. So guys, our kasundi fish tikka is now ready. You can try this at home and do let me know how your experience was. This is Chef Pratik signing off. Take care and goodbye.